Hi everyone, today I have something that we really need to talk about. We need to talk about Visual Studio for Mac. Because I have a video that I did in February this year. And people seem to still watching that video a lot. So it's time to give you a newer update on Visual Studio for Mac. And how that works with .NET MAUI. Because much of what I showed in that video is not relevant anymore. So I will give you a short video about the current state of Visual Studio for Mac and especially from a .NET MAUI developer perspective. So here we have Visual Studio for Mac. Right now I have one of my projects open that are also open source that you can find on my GitHub. So we recently have that 17.4 released I am running 17.5, uh, the preview. With the 17.4 release, the .NET MAUI tooling left the preview state. So it's now general availability. So we can expect everything to work pretty good. So where are we today? Visual Studio for Mac now is running on .NET 7. .NET 7 that was released just a few weeks ago. They are using it for Visual Studio for Mac already. Before that, it was running on .NET 6. And that it was running on .NET 6 made it also possible for them to compile it for ARM version. And that made it possible to optimize for the M1 and M2 Macs. And what that means for us developers is that it's running really fast compared to the old Visual Studio for Mac. And they are also rebuild more or less the whole Visual Studio to have native UI. And that is really good. The UI is so much better than now compared to one year ago. So, what is the current state for .NET MAUI? Can we use it? Is it okay to use? Yes, I would say it works pretty good, but there are some things that not work that good. For example, we have hot reload. It works, but sometimes I have problems, especially when I did Mac development. It could work once and then the other time I did a change, I have to restart the app. And recently I also did some iPad development and it didn't work that good. So hopefully that will be better in coming releases. And I also have some problems with the, the project properties here. If you go in here, for example, with the bundle signing, uh, this did not update the csproj file very good. But the good thing is that you don't have to use it UI. You can go in and edit the file directly if you want to do that. Otherwise, I would say this project properties works pretty good. We have options for iOS now, Mac Catalyst. We can go here to target platforms and here we can select what targets we want to have. So that is pretty good, I will say. So on another problem that I had, this archive for publishing that not seem to work very well yet, at least not for Mac apps, because I have developed a Mac app recently and I wanted to publish that. What I did instead was I just went to my project settings, I updated everything here by myself, set the create package to tr true, enable code signing true, and I added the certificates that was needed. So that means that I don't have to use the archive function. I can just build it in release mode now and I can take it to the transporter and upload it to App Store. Or do this in a CE pipeline, in Azure DevOps or GitHub Actions. That will not be a problem. Another thing that I have problem from time to time is the IntelliSense. Is that I often get errors from the SAML. Errors that is uh, in the category of IntelliSense. That means that it will show up as errors in your IDE and your editor and in the error list. But when you compile the app, it will not be any errors. So it can be annoying, but it is usable. Another annoying thing is this start button. Sometimes it loses the state of it. 
if that happens, you can just go and restart Visual Studio. Another great thing with the recent releases of Visual Studio for Mac is that you have a lot of better support for windowing. For example, you can snap the test pad up here and you can snap it back on the side, for example. So that works much better than it did before. So my conclusion of this is that Visual Studio for Mac is starting to be pretty major for .NET MAUI development. There are still things to work on. Hot Reload, for example, it must be better. So we will have that great Hot Reload experience even on Mac that they will have on Windows. But why I work with Visual Studio for Mac is that it is so much faster to work with the iOS simulators, for example, and that I have Xcode on my machine. I know that the agent has been better on Windows, so the connection to the Mac is more stable, but I still prefer on working on Mac. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel because there will be more videos about .NET MAUI in the future. See you then. Bye bye.